Hello everyone. Today I'll show you how to use the package deployment tool to deploy your dynamic solution from one instance to the another instance. So if you have any configuration data that you want to move from one instance to the another instance, then we can use the package deployment tool for that also. So I will be showing the demo of that. So I have one instance here, this 18. It contains the two solution, internal exam entity and department entity. So in the internal exam entity, it has one entity here internal exam and I have one a few requests configured for that you can see for this internal exam I have three requests configured for that and then I have another solution that is called department entity and in that solution I have the uh, entity called department entity and I have the two requests configured for this so I will be moving this uh, two and this three requests total five requests from my source instance 18 to the target instance this is the my target instance and here you can see th these solutions are not present these solutions are not present here so i will be deploying those solutions here and along with those for five records which are configured against those entity so i will be using the uh, package deployment tool for that and the benefit of package deployment tool is that it will automate your import process and you can add the multiple solutions the way you, uh, the order in which you want to deploy in your target instance you can add that along with that if you have any configurations data to be imported then you can use that too so the the benefit of package deploy package deploy tool is that it will help you to automate your deployment process okay so before i proceed for this deployment here so I have few things to be installed first. So what I did is, uh, first of all, in the uh, since I'm using the uh, this is my solution which I have developed in my previous video. I'm using the Visual Studio 2019. So I have to add one extension here, and the extension is the Microsoft Dynamics CRM SDK template. I will give you this link in the description box. You can download this uh, 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 template from that link. And once you install that, it will add the extension to your uh, Visual Studio here. So you can see I have this extension installed here, this one. So I will be using this extension to create the uh, SDK template, package template, and we'll create the project for that. Along with that, uh, you have to install the uh, tools also. So those tools, uh, configure, man, man, configuration, man, migration, and this uh, uh, the uh, solution deployment. Those tools you can find the uh, you can find the link from here. This one, and here we have the PowerShell script. You have to deploy. You have to run this Power PowerShell script to your PowerShell uh, uh, command window, and you have to go to the particular. Suppose I want to deploy though I want to uh, download those tools over here in this folder. Then I have to I have to go to this directory through my PowerShell, and then I have to paste this. Uh, PowerShell script here and then enter so then those script those tools it will be downloaded through this script and it will be it will have the folder structure like this so uh, in, inside the tools I will have the configuration migration code tools package deployment if you want to deploy the package uh, using the PowerShell you can have that too and then plugin registration so this five folders will be created and so I will be using the package deployment here and the configuration migration to to configure to to migrate the data from one instance to the another instance so make sure you have installed these two uh, you have downloaded the uh, tools from this link and the uh, you have added this extension to your visual studio so inside the solution i'm going to add the new project here and i will be selecting the from the project template that is why i have added that extension sdk extension so in that i will have this uh, that uh, icon available here this package template available here. so i will select this one then go to next and you have to give the package project name here so i'll give the crm demo package deployer okay and click next create so it will create the uh, template for the package deployer and we will see the project structure for this so here uh, you can see this this project is added here so we have the package deploy folder here so it will have everything where we need to do the change before that you can check the references sometimes your references will be missing here make sure you have added those references it depends the what uh, what refer, what assembly version you are uh, using so sometimes if the uh, the SDK versions are not matching then you may have those mismatch references here so make sure you have in installed the updated uh, SDK references to here uh, in inside the project and inside the config folder we have the content and the con import config file so 
this is the file which will which will control what components to be downloaded to the target instance and what are the files to be you know look for and then uh, copy the data from your uh, data file so for this uh, you can see we can we can import the migration tool we can get the data export uh, from the migration tool and then you can add that file here then we can add the solutions in here we can add the multiple solutions along with that we have the another node that is called file import so you can see we have the different type of file import here is csv another is zip file and when you use this file config import then you have to use this uh, file config map file here so like uh, when, when, when you import the file then the map file has to be created with the xml format and that name you have to map here so for the csv it is using this one uh, so if you can see the for the csv it it's using the file map uh, name so we have to use that one and for the zip file it is using the uh, zip file you can see here this is zip file file name here so it, it is using that one so we'll we'll add that name over here so along with that if if you have any you know if you know the import details then you can add this particular csv file here directly and type of entity you you are you are importing for you can add that directly here so it is pretty simple to configure and here as per my requirement what i'm going to do now is i i'm having uh, these two solutions and i have two entity over here right so first of all uh, what i'll do uh, i will export these two solution so i'll export this here I will be using the unman unmanaged solution, not the managed. So if you want, you can export it as a managed solution also. So I will be using the unmanaged solution. So now in the download folder, you can see my those two packages are ready, which are need to be deployed into the target instance over here. Okay, so I have created the project here. So we will be adding the uh, those solution file here first. So we can add the component from here. So I, I'm going to add the existing files, existing items from here. So So I have added here these two uh, files over here. So make sure you have add enable those two files for the copy or uh, here we have the do not copy. You have to make this to always copy. What will happen when you build this project? It will have the bin folder and inside the debug uh, inside the debug folder and inside the bin these two package will be added there. Okay, so that is why I have added these two uh, files with the properties as a always copy. Okay. Next is uh, we will be modifying this uh, uh, import config XML file here. So if you want to import the data, I will add here. But later on, let's just add the solution which I want to import here first. So this is the my first I want to import the department here. So I'll copy this name zip file here. And since I have two solutions, so I will be adding one more line for this. And this is my another solution name. Okay, so my two solutions are added, which I'm going to import. And then uh, here I, I don't have any file, explicit file to be CSV file, which I'm looking for. If you have, then you can use this uh, node here to import those. Okay, so I don't have that one. So I'm going to remove this node. So I'm going to remove this node. Otherwise I can comment it. So let me comment this. And inside the zip import details, even I'm not, I don't have this any CSV or text file, so I'm going to uh, re uh, remove this also. Okay, now it is removed. And here uh, I don't have, since I'm not using any this file type, so I can, I can, I can, I can remove this one also. So I'm going to remove this also here. Okay, so finally I have uh, removed unwanted components and I have added the my solution over here. Okay, so it, it will look like this. So here import I have 
and then in the solution I have two components okay fine so here I have, I have to add this uh, migration data because I have to export those uh, five records this one so I will be using the migration tool for that so here I have already downloaded those uh, tools here so I will go to the configuration migration I will open this one and first I have to create the schema uh, schema will have the entities on the fields which you want to export from one instance to another instance so I will create that first so I log into the my source instance so it is 18 Okay, so I have login here. So I will have the solution which I have created in the uh, in my source instance. So those uh, um, unmanaged solutions it will display it will display for me here. So you can see uh, these are the uh, unmanaged solutions where I can uh, select here. So first of all, I have the department entity. So I will select this one. Uh, since uh, inside this uh, solution, I have only one entity, I will, so I, it is displaying for me. So I will select the all the fields for this entity and I will add here. The next is I have the internal uh, exam entity solution. This one is inside this solution also, I have only one entity. So I will select this one. Then I will select all the columns for this also and then add. So you can see inside this, uh, well, inside this package uh, for this uh, schema, I have two uh, two entity I have added and I have selected all the fields for these entities. Okay, now save and export. So I'm going to name this as a data schema. Okay, it will save this as a XML file. So once it is saved, then it will ask you if you want to create the ex export data file also. So yes, I want to create that. So that uh, schema will be selected and I will be adding the uh, I will be saving those data with the name like data something data you can add that one data dot zip file so it will save the, those uh, records as a data dot zip here so it will export those data into this file those five records which we have here this one and these two records it will be added into this data dot zip file so this this file we have to link to our project here to this migration uh, CRM migration uh, import file here so okay, it is exported. Now I can close this. Okay, so now uh, I have to add those components of form here. So I'll copy this, add the existing items. So this time I will be adding this schema and the data. And for these two components also, I will be put, I will be changing this copy to output directory to always copy always okay so now these four components are with copy always so what will happen when we build the solution then this will have the uh, this this files will be copied to the bin folder okay so now I have added now uh, and the changes to the config file is also done uh, sorry it is not done I have to add this data file here so it is uh, data dot zip you can make this as a true here since we are going to use this so save and we now we are going to build this Okay, so I have built and it is built succeeded. So my my folder is my package is here, this one. So I'll open this. So you can see inside this bin folder, uh, my uh, I have this this one CRM demo, this DLL, and I have the package folder. And you can see the components which I have enabled for the copy always. So this is coming over here. So we have to move this folder and this uh, build library to the a package deployer here inside the package deployment tool here so we have to build here so we have to put those copy those files to here but uh, suppose when when we don't have any package available here when you run this then it will it will it will not find like when you go to continue it will not find the package and it will exit here so once we add those packages from here so say I want to copy this one these two files from here to here so now I have added the package here I have added the package folder and this deployer my uh, the build library also here then when I run this package you will see it will ask me to connect now so now it has found the package build the project package which we have built here it has found it and it is asking for the connection so here we have to connect the target instance so you can see this is my target instance where I'm where I'm going to deploy those solutions here so I will I will log into my target instance and here uh, it, it will it will connect to that and it will load the components which we have added to the project here inside this project and this is the HTML template it is coming from this 
uh, from the package uh, solution which we have built here. So here inside the package, inside the solution, we have the content here and inside this folder, we have the end HTML and the welcome HTML. So when we have this uh, welcome HTML here inside this default.html file, you can add, if you can more, you can put this as a more descriptive, like you can put your company name or something, what you're going to deploy and something, some message or some valid information if you want to set here while the, if, if some third party, third party is going to install your package, you, that will be more descriptive for your package deployment, okay? And this is for the end, like once the package is deployed and if you want to use that one, in your uh, to display some special messages to the uh, deployer, then you can use you can you can add more descriptive uh, HTML file here, and you can edit this one if you want. So I'm I'm keeping this as it is, so I have not changed it. Okay, so that is why it's coming for me as it is. So it is uh, this is default template which is added along with here. So uh, this is the uh, template coming from there. So now go to the next, and. I'm going to click next again, so it will see it will uh, it will show you the components it has present in my package deployer here. So I have one com uh, well, I have two solutions added, and this is the solution name, and I have the data import also, which I it which this package is need to deploy that. So it will uh, it will display that those components over here. Then click next. It will take some time. Uh, it will connect to your instance, and then it will download as per the size of your solution what you have, and the, it will deploy in the same order where you have where that you have mentioned over here. So you, first it will deploy this entity depart, uh, department entity, and then it will deploy the internal en en exam entity. So it will take some time uh, uh, to deploy this. So uh, I will wait uh, till it get. Now you can see the my all the packages has been imported and it has imported those two and three those records also to my target instance. So I click next and finally at the end of this uh, completed when the package deployment is completed then I will have this one the end HTML file which is coming here it will be displayed at the end of this when solution package deployment has been completed. Okay so now I'll go to the I'll go to the my target instance here, this one. I'll refresh this and you can see those two entity solution, uh, it is deployed to my target instance. And when I look for the records of the, those entities, so it should, be, uh, it should be present here in the target instance also. Okay, it's for department, it, it has come, and for the internal exams. So it's, it has come for that also. So now uh, the solution has been deployed correctly. So this is how you can use this uh, package deployer to automate your deployment process for the dynamics. So I hope now you are clear with the package deployment tool and you are familiar with how to use that, okay? So and thank you for watching this video, guys.